Subscription, pull, subscribe on the channel, and go on the computer and watch his channel. Goodbye, you. see you tomorrow. We do a video and subscribe on the channel. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Guy with the GoPro Fishing Show. Um, now that I know top water season is amongst us, um, you know me, I'm a top water fiend. I crack out on top water bite. But, anyways, um, I did uh, get a replacement reel of the same speed to replace the Revo SX that I traded for my um striker four by garmin which is an awesome perfect size uh fish finder and it's got the two mile plotter so i can put waypoints in um so anyways gonna go test out the new reel it's a six six to one spark pro very shallow spool which I've never had a reel with a spool that shallow, so I'm a little nervous about that. Um, but maybe it'll be better for throwing the smaller lipless, because that's why I bought it to replace uh, what I had on my lipless. But if it ends up being a, a, a different application, then I will use it differently, and I will just put the dang... American Hero that I had on it from the get-go and that reel has served me perfect no matter what in every situation it's been it's it's I'm telling you one thing about lose I'm not going to spend the 200 on the LP speed spool BB 9000 I ain't doing it but their lower end the mid-grade stuff is robust man but anyways so we're gonna go test out the new uh spark pro because it matches the rod and it's a six six to one which is what i had on there to begin with and we're gonna throw uh some uh, bigger poppers and uh i'm gonna try a few by lucker hunt and uh one in bluegill by booyah which i've never thrown a booyah popper so um see you at the fishing spot what's going on folks so i traded my the reel that was on this rod for a less expensive model due to the fact that i was going for the same speed but I wanted to use it on my favorite of all favorite lipless bait rods being the Rick Klein right and McGill signature rod um, I throw 2.0 square bills on it and I throw all my lipless crankbaits on this rod um, I was worried uh, it wasn't going to be able to function correctly because I've never had a reel with this spool, with a spool so shallow. I'd be surprised, honestly, if there's a hundred yards of line on it. I didn't use any backing. I mean, nothing. It is a shallow spool, so I didn't know if it was like designed for BFS or if I had accidentally bought something the wrong type of bait but uh man sure does cast like a dream and I got on just a little what is this uh quarter ounce rattle trap up to retrieve here 661 strike 14 pound fluorocarbon that's what I throw all my lipless on I don't care what they weigh just because I like to 
yo yo I'm off the bottom. And uh, so far, this little spark is doing the deal. I'm impressed. Oh, I'm already hearing it. Unless that was the turtle going into uh, the water there off his little sun perch, which it could be. Got him. Yep. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's going on? You got the front hook too, man. Hey, man. Oh, hold on now. Get the pliers. Well, dang. Thank you, man. Thank you, buddy. Hold on, dude. We gonna get you. We gonna get you off there. Just give me a dang second. To work on you. I know it's weird up here. I live here, dude. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Don't you go flopping around all crazy now. That's a good first fish on the old spark. Little Buckster Buck, Buckminster Fuller here. Uh, nothing big, but hey, he's a fighter. He's a Seth fighter. There you go, buddy. All right, on the board. And it wasn't a first cast jinx, so we might be on to something with the lipless. How about that? How about that? The old quarter ounce, Bill Lewis. And you know what? On pressure waters, I love fishing small baits. I just do because they don't spook fish when you're throwing some big old bait that's plopping in the water. If you make a nice gentle entry, odds are, and you cast past your target, odds are you're not gonna spook nothing away. So that's gonna be blowing out for a little bit, so let's go this way. Now, I'm gonna have to burn this here uh, little war pig because this ain't nothing but about a couple feet deep, if that. Well, let's try the old pop bar first. Now see, here's something that gets me mad. I'll make sure to keep this in the video. Only caught one fish, but so what? I was just trying out a new rod. See this? This is lazy, lazy man garbage right next to this. That is not a garbage can, that is. This is for line. So somebody just got lazy and was like, oh, who cares if it falls back out? My gosh. That's what you do, if you care. If you don't care, then you don't care. I don't care if you don't care. I can only care about it as much as you care about it, if that makes any sense. So anyways, back to, it's gonna be a little more. We'll see if the top water bike dies just because of a little bit of wind, but uh, I don't go by those textbook rules of fishing, man, because I've caught some big smallmouth walking the bait when I couldn't even see it. It was so windy. It's wacky rig jig head. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie this on and then you're gonna take the worm and you're gonna fold it in half like this and put the worm, put the hook right through there. And that's called the wacky rig. And all you do is cast it out, lift it up, and it's gonna go on the way back down. Lift it up and let it go on the way back down. You want me to tie it on there? Yeah. So let out some slack, hit your button so we got some line to work with. There we go. Ah, uh, you can close it. Just turn your reel handle so it's it's a locked. There you go. All right. Do you know any good knots? Do what? Do you know any good like knots to no. tie your bait? All right. Here's the easy. My papa tied that one last night. All right. Here's the easy one to to learn a good beginner knot. The one I learned first. Is this bait any good? The wacky rig? No, mine. Oh, um. Yeah, it's good, but it's more for, um... Smaller fish? No, um, I wouldn't say that, because I've caught big fish on little baits. It's just, uh... See, I caught a fish, but, like, it don't want to reel in. It's like, when it gets, like, something heavy enough, it doesn't want to reel. That means your drag is... Okay, so this is your drag. This, this star right yeah. here is gonna it's it's loose so you want it locked up tight to where so if you hit this button yeah do you know how to use what, like one of those a spinning rod yeah you do yeah it's like you uh i have one at home but it's broke that i found yeah it's like you turn this over you put it and you throw it out yeah, you flip the thing open yeah. and then cast it. Yeah, I know how to use those. All right. Well. I want one of those. Those are cool. Yeah. Where do you live at? I live right out of the park, and that's my mom right there in the gray uh, SUV right there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I tell you what. Today might be your lucky day because I just happen to have a a travel rod in my truck that I don't use all that much that uh I mean if I give it to you you gonna use it you, you like fishing you, yeah. you into it man oh yeah are you into it man yeah you gonna subscribe yeah all right for sure all right well take that because that drag's broke no wonder why you couldn't even reel nothing in so you know papa was cool to give it to you yeah hold on to that I'll go give this to my mom real quick. Yeah, go do that. I'm going to run to my truck. You got to help the kids out, man. That again. Okay, so open the bale. Open the bale. Put your finger on it with this hand. And now... Pull it back. Yep, make sure you're good. And then... Let go with my finger when I get about it. Yep. You don't got to, that's perfect. You don't got to cast hard. It's not about throwing it across the lake. It's about casting it where you want it to go. Yeah. Yep. And just lift and let it sink back down. And then reel up your slack, lift, let it sink back down. Now, if you feel something mushy or if that line starts scooching one way or the other, yeah. something's on there. Yep. Yep. And they love the wacky rig in this place. Do they? Yes. Is this the best spot? No, I would go back down either like in between where them guys are. Yeah. And in the dock because it's deeper water, which means it's going to be colder. Yeah. And it'll let that thing get down deeper. See how you're already dragging up all the bottom content yeah. on your hook? That's because this whole flat is only about two to three foot at the very most. Yeah. 
And then over there it gets deep. Yeah. It get, yeah, you're better off down that way. Yeah. What's your name, dude? Harley. Harley? All right. I'm Brian. Brian. Guy with the GoPro fishing show. Guy with the GoPro fishing show. Yep. Can I, I fish with you today? I did. I, I'm leaving. I got to go change the oil in my truck, dude, but I'm up here all the time. Are you? Yeah. If you live by the park, I mean, you'll see me up here. That's my little gray ranger, or it's like bronze. Yeah. I'm no, I'm usually one of the only guys up here with, that's filming. Yeah. So you'll see me. All right. All right, buddy, Thank man. You, man. Yeah, Appreciate you're welcome. That. Yeah. Hey, don't forget your worms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but them are good colors in here, man. Because the one that's on there now is called Smoke Shad. What do I do with that? Mm. I go put it in the car. I, uh, that hook seems like it's gonna bend out on you. I would pitch it. Should I keep the worm, the worm part? No, it's done tore up. You're fine. You got. You you're good to go, buddy. All right. Should we throw this away? Yeah. Bye -bye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. That's what it's all about, man. It reminds me of me when I was that age. 